Hi, and welcome to Crafts with Ash DIY and Decor. My name's Ashley, and today I'm taking you along with me as we transform my dining room and entryway into a winter wonderland. If you want to see how it all came out, stay tuned. Don't forget to check out my other channel, Life with Ash. This channel is a more behind the scenes vlog style channel filled with mama life, mama hacks, cleaning, organizing, hauls, shopping, decluttering, decorating, and even more fun. That channel is all about real life. My hair is always in a messy bun. I live in leggings. I rarely ever wear makeup and I'm just trying to get through this thing called life. So if you can relate to any of that, jump down to the description box below and click the link to my other channel, Life with Ash, and come hang out with me over there. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you're notified whenever I upload new videos. Also, if you like what you see, give this video a big thumbs up. All right, well, let's jump right in to decorating for winter. All right, so we're going to start off with the tree, and I'm going to go in with some white tool that I simply just got from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to <laughs> do my best to wrap it around and make it look pretty. I am not good at this part. I have to say, I think the part of decorating trees that I hate the most is the ribbon. And your next thing that you're thinking is why, well, then why do you do it? I don't know. I don't know why I torture myself like that. Um, I do think that at the end, when it's all decorated, it does add a fun little element and just kind of adds dimension and texture, but uh, I don't know. I'm just not good at it, but I guess this is going to have to be one of those things practice makes perfect. And because uh, I don't know, as you can tell, I'm literally just wrapping it around. I mean, I, I do go through and fluff it, as you can see right here, but I don't know. So next I'm going to go in with some sparkly silver ribbon. And this I believe I got on clearance last year at Hobby Lobby. And so I am actually going to take a little bit more time and uh, effort to make this look a little better. So, and then for this, I'm actually going to uh, fluff, you know, around too. Now my sister, she, I'm actually pretty impressed. She does the ribbon thing really good on her tree. And so I should just have her come over and teach me or just have her do it. Uh, but, uh, because I could really stand to, uh, get better at it. So I'm just going to keep taking this really pretty silver glittery ribbon and wrapping it all the way down. Now, uh, yeah, there's glitter all over my house and I'm just going to have to come to terms with, I will never, ever be able to get rid of glitter. And I have two little girls, so we're just getting started <laughs> with the gold glitter thing. So it is what it is. I mean, just expect to get some kind of glitter on your feet whenever you come over on your shoes. And it's so funny because I do have a dog, but he does not shed. So I don't, I don't have the dog hair situation. I have the glitter situation. <laughs> so that's just what you're going to get. So next I'm going to go in and add some of these snowflakes. I'm going to add some bulbs, some picks. And like I said, a lot of this stuff I got last year, uh, after Christmas at Hobby Lobby for their huge 90% off sale. So I'm just going to go through and add everything. I'm not going to talk through this Christmas tree part, I or winter tree, excuse me, part. Uh, I think it's pretty self-explanatory, uh, but I will continue to show you everything I'm using. Real quick, I do want to take this opportunity to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My name's Ashley, like I stated earlier, and if you love all things home decor and DIY, this is definitely the channel for you. I love crafting and creating things and if you do too hit that subscribe button and don't forget if you're loving what you see so far hit that thumbs up I would truly appreciate it don't forget to turn on those notifications because I have a lot more fun crafting content coming your way and I know you're not going to want to miss it I don't know where she came from kind of turned me upside down I just don't know what to do I want to spend the night at hers And bring her one of my t-shirts So it smells like her perfume Now I really get what the love songs are talking about And I just want to tell her how I feel Scream it out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath When you saw her in that dress? 
Your heart is beating fast and you're sweating And you can't stop looking at her smile Then you've been in love That's how you know you've been in love There's something about the way she laughs And the way she always dances When she thinks nobody sees And when she's gonna miss her soul I tell her, baby, please don't go I think you should stay with me And I, I really get what the love songs are talking about Oh, and I just wanna tell her how I feel Scream it out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath When you saw her in that dress? Your heart is beating fast and you're sweating And you can't stop looking at her smile Then you've been in love That's how you know you've been in love T-shirts, so it smells like her perfume. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of love breath when you saw her in that dress? All right, so of course we have to have something on the top, and again, this came from Hobby Lobby, so I'm going to place it as the topper, and then I need to give this area a good sweep again. Glitter. Now, for the tree skirt, per se, uh, this is actually a table runner. This area is so small, I cannot put an actual tree skirt, so I have to be creative. <laughs> so I actually got in the habit of using table runners, and this one is so pretty. You'll see I have a second one that I'm going to use a little bit later in my dining room, but I just love it because obviously it's giving off those winter vibes. So I just kind of tuck it in the corner there, and look how pretty it is. All right, so on the bench, I'm going to make this super simple. This is also, I believe this is a table runner as well, but I'm kind of just going to use it to drape over. I don't really have that many like wintry gray, silvery blankets. Uh, so, but I did have this, so I thought I would use that and then just add this little deer pillow. I do have another one. I actually used it in my living room. If you're wondering if you already saw that, yes, I do have two. I don't know why I bought two, but I bought two. And now we're going to move over to the entryway table. I'm going to put this really pretty lace table runner. It has uh, snowflakes on it. I should have showed the camera. I'm sorry. But uh, to the one side, I'm going to put this these very glittery, sparkly trees. And I love how tall they are because I feel like this fills the space nicely. But you're going to see I actually keep this very, very simple. So now I'm going to go in with just this very simple white wreath. And I always have a command hook there to hang wreaths. And then I just added a little deer head to it. Next, I'm going to go in with a sign that says silver white winters that melt into spring. And I love that. And I'm just going to put it on the other side. And look at this little guy. Isn't he so cute? I had to have him. He was on clearance and yep I picked them up for sure so then I'm just going to add a little rug at the entryway and I'll show you the final reveal of the entryway in just a little bit but now we're going to jump to the dining room so starting with the hutch I'm going to go in with a uh, garland on the top now in my dining room you're going to see a lot of naturals silver white and greenery that is the vibe I'm going for so now to bring in the white, silver, and naturals, I'm going to add this let it snow sign and then these bottle brush trees. Moving down to the second shelf, I am going to add this like little background here. By I've been really into doing this lately, just layering. And I really think that adding 
uh, plates or um, chargers really help to make things pop, even skinny uh, trays. Wow, words are hard for me today. I don't know why. Um, and then I'm going to go in with those little white houses from the Target Dollar Spot a uh, like years ago. And then to bring in that silver touch, I'm actually going to add those little greenery uh, trees with the silver bases. And then I just had this uh, white tree. I've had this for years and years. So I thought I would put it right in the middle. And it does have like that uh, wicker, I don't know, uh, brown wrapped around it to again, bring in the naturals. All right, now to the third shelf, you're probably thinking, well, that looks familiar. Yep, that came right from my living room because I found something different to put in that spot so I thought I'd bring that piece here and then I'm just going to use some bottle brush trees to go ahead and put around it to again bring in that silver all right moving to the back wall we are going to do this shelf and I just started by putting a little sign at the bottom to raise this white sign up and then I'm going to use that little candle holder and a silver bottle brush tree then this is just like a foam little snowflake and then to complete it I'm going to go in with some greenery now no I do not put a candle uh, in the candle holder uh, but I just thought that that was really I don't know, wintry for some reason. And then I am going to add some pine cones because again, I do want to bring in that natural uh, touch to this too. This pine cone happened to have silver glitter on it. So it actually was perfect. All right, two of these windows are actually, they're the doors for my hutch, but now they're windows. I'm going to hang these wreaths that I got from Target last year after Christmas. And now we are going to move to the four tiered shelf. So I'm going to start off with these skis and you're going to see a theme here, kind of like snowy, wintry uh, outdoor activities, but I'm going to go in with my cute little deer. I use these at Christmas too, but they had a red bow on them. So I went ahead and took them off and boom, now they're wintry. <laughs> And then I just added a little flock tree to the second shelf. I'm just going to add that vase there just to hold up this sign. And then I'm going to go in with uh, some more of those little trees. I, it was like a three pack and three different sizes. And then just a simple white lantern. This whole shelf is very simple. But in this, you're going to see a lot of the dark green, the white and the naturals. And I'm really loving that dark green for winter too. I kind of mixed kind of like the silvery uh, glittery look with the dark green and naturals like I stated before. So I hope that you love how it all came together. I think it goes well together, but you're going to have to let me know your thoughts. I've been doing this for the last three years and I, I really do love how it lo all looks. All right, now we're going to add, I think these are snowshoes. I don't know. I've never even touched a ski in my life. Never, uh, you know, snowboard. And then I'm going to go in with that dark green lantern. And look at my little guy. He's been through some stuff. He's missing a leg. His neck totally popped off. He was decapitated at one point. His ear came off. So I did. I, I had to glue him back together. But he's okay. He's, he's still here. He's still with us. And he lives on. <laughs> All right, to the bottom, I'm going to add this uh, sled and I'm going to use that as a riser and then I have this really tall green bottle brush tree I'm going to add to the bottom and then this sign and then just like an antler I this I don't know I need to work with this bottom shelf a little bit more I don't love it but I, I think it's good enough for now all right, moving on to the table. I love how this came out and I think you're really going to enjoy it too. So this is that other furry table runner that I said that I had. And then this garland is actually new. I got it on clearance this year. I happened to be at Burlington and they had all of their stuff 50% off, which eh, 50, I think it should be more than that. But uh, I picked this up for $4. How could and it, everything you see on it, it, w it was on it. So I didn't have to add anything. It was silvery. It had the creams and there's even little ornaments on there too. So then I'm going to go in with those silvery tall trees and then look at these deer. I got these last year and I just think they're so pretty. I think they look great as like a little centerpiece to this table. Now I did feel that I wanted to add just something else. So I I have these snowflake candlesticks that I actually used last year and kind of forgot about. So I have three of them. So I'm actually going to put like one in the back, one in the front, and the other one in the back. So it's kind of alternating. And then I'm going to go in with just some cream colored candles. And 
I don't know if you could tell, but the, those candles actually match those flowers that are on the garland. So I wanted to pull it all together. Now we're going to move on to the tablescape. I'm going to go in with these really fun uh, silver placemats. And I love these so much. I have them in gold and I believe red as well. I think they're just really neat. Next, I'm going to go in with these faux wooden chargers right from the Dollar Tree. I did get those a couple of years ago. I think they still have them though. Look at these plates. Aren't those gorgeous? They're kind of like an iridescent. And yes, I did get those on major sale last year from Hobby Lobby. Next, I'm going to go in with these really pretty gray uh, glasses again on sale last year. And I just saw when I was there the other day, they have some red ones, 75% off. I honestly might pick those up for Valentine's Day. I hope they still have them. <laughs> and I felt like I needed to add like the natural in the garland and this did not have pine cones on it. So I'm going to go through and just simply add some pine cones going all down the garland. And I think that that tied in the wood charger really well. So I did decorate my bar cart. Unfortunately, I was not recording and did not realize it, but don't worry because after this table's done, that completes my dining room. So you're going to see the bar cart in just a little bit in this final reveal. What do you think of my wintry entryway and dining room? Lights fill the city. There are people everywhere. The snow is falling white and pretty as I stroll on my way. Took a while, 
been looking for a sweet song, a sign of spring. Waiting for a reason to laugh, to sing. Cause I've been spending all my time to figure out just how I've been spending way too many thoughts on what went All right, well, that completes decorating for winter in my home. I really hope that you enjoyed how it all came out. You're going to have to let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and turn on those notifications because we have a lot of fun content coming up and coming your way. Thank you so much for joining me, and until I see you again, I'll decorate with you soon. Bye!